Hi, this is Kim. Welcome back to another step-by-step -step lesson. I was doing some uh, Google searches today. My daughter works in special ed and I was looking for some things that she could do with her students. Um, I happened upon Flippity. I'm not sure that this will actually work. Her kids are, are younger, but um, there's some really cool things that this software can do. I don't... Um, I don't know, I haven't heard anyone talk about it, but it's really pretty cool. So this is Flippity, it's flippity.net. These are all free things you can create. Um, they basically integrate with a Google Sheet, like a Excel sheet, so that you can make flashcards. Here's a quiz show, random name picker, randomizer for like a story starters, your scavenger hunt, board game, manipulatives, just tons and tons of things. So I kind of wanted to show you how to do a few of them. Um, I just played with a few and I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. So um, yeah, let's just dig in. I'm going to make the matching game first. So this is this right here. So you can click the demo to see what it's going to look like. Green. So you, it's just like concentration, you know, the game, you concentration, where you try to find the matching. Yellow. Where right, it was yellow. Oh, that shows how good I am at this game. Was this yellow? Yellow. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I found yellow. Anyways, okay, so that's the demo, so you can under, see what it's uh, looked like. Now let's go ahead and make one. So you open up the instructions. Very straightforward. It tells you exactly what to do. But basically, make a copy of this template. You need to be signed into Google. Um, like if you have a Gmail or whatever. So if you don't have a Gmail account or a Google account, go ahead and create one. They're free. You'll need to do that in order to um, create these flippity activities because it saves them in your, your drive. So, anyways, it says we like to make a copy. Yes, the instruction told us to make a copy. Okay, so it's doing it. Okay, so now let's see what the instructions say. Edit the terms so we can edit the, the spreadsheet. So it basically opens up this spreadsheet. So it's going to have red and then that splotch that's red. So, like I was thinking, we could just... Um, use the Spanish word for red. So we could just try to match that way. Um, let's see. And then let's see. Blue is azul. I don't know all of them, but let's see. This is good enough. We could use some of the little splotches for the ones I don't know. I think this is, I think that's it. I'm not really sure. Okay, that's good. Anyway, so that was I edited this um, and let's say I want to do wild have a wild card <laughs> all right whatever um, so let's see what's next so we go up here okay so now it says to file publish to the web and click publish okay file Publish to the web. Publish. Yes. Okay, close that. And it said, click on the Get the Link Here tab at the template on the bottom, and then click to test your game. Okay, so let's do that. Let's get the link here. There's our link. Let's just copy it. Let's open up. A new tab, paste, here we go, and there's our game, uh, let's see, oh wild card, purple, okay, green, blue, orange, so the wild card thing didn't work, I guess you can't do that, red, oh it was worth a shot, let's see, let's see if we can get another match, where, they, where was green up here, no, <laughs> okay, I'm not good at this game. Anyways, there's our game. So that was fun. 
Let's go ahead and do another one. Um, everybody loves these random name choosers, so I'm going to go ahead and do that one. So let's see what the demo looks like. Okay, here's our names. Click. And Robert's the winner. So let's create one of these. Everybody loves doing these. Let's go back. These are great for teachers, especially. The kids keeps the kids' attention. You spin the wheel and they don't know if they're gonna get called on or not. So they have to be prepared and they have to be paying attention. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna make a copy of the template. Let's make a copy. Okay, so here's all of our names. You can add pictures of the kids too if you want. I'm not gonna spend that time. Um, you can just edit these. Whatever. We could add more. There's already checks. And here's some more. We can just put some more in. I don't know. I'm just gonna make up some names. So anyway, we added some names, and then we are going to publish our spreadsheet again. So we're going to file, publish to the web, publish, do you want to publish? Yes. Close that. Now we're going to go down here and get our link. Here's our link. Going to right mouse click copy. I'm going to open up a new tab, right mouse click, paste, enter. Okay, so here's our names. Um, let's see who wins this time. Jessica. Okay, so there's some cool things up here you can, which are built in. You don't have to do anything to use them. Here's a single name. So if you just wanted one name to pop up in this, the wheel to not actually spin, you could just click that. Just randomly pick the names. Um, this shows the whole screen, so you don't see all this part on the top. You can enter some instructions here. You can have a timer, like, okay, you have um, whatever you want this person to do, and you have 30 seconds to do it, whatever. So uh, that's fun. So anyways, let's, uh, that's fun. Okay, let's go back to this so we can make a lineup. So it'll just randomly put them in order and then you'll scroll through. You can close these if you don't want them, the timer and the instructions. Here you can create groups of two randomly. So here's the teams. Well, not teams, but they're going to work together on a project. Here's groups of three, groups of four, groups of five. If you're going to split it into two teams, into three teams, into four teams, into five teams, um, you can create a seating chart. So it just randomly puts them in there. Let's see what's under more. Oh, some other stuff. Gift exchange. So, yeah. Anyways, so that's fun. So that was easy. That was You could do that in two minutes and have it ready for your classroom. Just keep that link and put it in anytime you want to use it. And there you go. Okay, there's one more thing I wanted to do just so we can do something else a little bit different. Down here there's Mad Libs, which I think are really fun. If you don't know what a Mad Lib is, here's a demo. So let's just pick a... So you fill out these and it creates the story like female name, mom, School subject, math, adjective, noun, adjective, noun, number, question, famous person, oops, let's see, George Washington, last name, Smith, phrase, go away. Adjective. Oh, there's a lot of things in here. Um, sticky. Is there any more? See my story. Okay, so now mom was worried she had to take a test tomorrow in math, but she left her slimy chair in her tiny tree and couldn't study. During the test, she couldn't remember the answer to the question four, five, six. Question number four, five, six. Who are you? 
She thought and thought and finally wrote George Washington. She didn't have to worry. She passed the test and her teacher, Mrs. Smith, told her, go away. She was very sticky. <laughs> so anyways, those are fun. Kids love those. Uh, so let's go back. Let's make one. So here's our instructions. You always have to click on the instructions because because that's how you get to the template. And it kind of all works the same way. So we're going to make a copy. They all work the same. You just have to make your copy. So here's some stories that are already created. You can create a whole new story. You can edit one of these. Um, like here's the trip. Name and name decided to travel to a place. They gathered their plural noun and plural noun and put them in their adjective vehicle. An hour later, their noun exploded. They were stuck. Luckily, occupation name, female name passed by. She helped them fix their... So like you could change vehicle. Oh, I gotta do it up here, I guess. Um, oh, can I make this a little bigger? There we go. Okay. She helped them fix there, and you could change this to maybe noun. So it's just a bracket and whatever you choose to put there and gave them an adjective down to help them. They finally arrived at their let's let's type in destination. Oops. Okay, parentheses or bra these are actually brackets. They had a let's change this to adjective. You don't have to change them. You can just use them like this. You can create your own story. I just wanted to show you how to change it. Okay, so then we are going to file and then publish to the web. Publish. Okay, close that. Go down to get our link. Let's right mouse click, copy, open a new tab, paste. Enter. Oh, having trouble with this one, huh? There we go. Okay. Oh, I, I made it. I made a typo. I see it right here. It's right there. Okay. So let's see. Let's fix that. Okay. So delete bracket. There we go. Okay. So then now let's do it again. File. Oops. File. Publish to the web. Okay, it already is. Okay. Now let's get our link. Copy. Paste, enter. Okay, which one did we do? We did the trip, I think. Okay, so let's do this. Um, mom, dad, place. Let's see, Disneyland, plural noun. Hats, plural noun. Um, sinks, adjective, dirty, type of vehicle, taxi. A noun would be, I don't know, um, toothbrush, occupation, what should we do, plumber, female name, mom, noun, um, bracelet, adjective, shiny, noun, chair, I did chair the last one, but that's okay. Destination, let's say zoo, adjective, um, uh, sharp. Okay, let's see the story now. So now we'll read the story with our words. Mom and Dad decided to travel to Disneyland. They gathered their hats and sinks and put them in their dirty taxi. An hour later, their toothbrush exploded. Oh dear. They were stuck. Luckily, a plumber named Mom passed by. She helped them fix their bracelet and gave them a shiny chair to help them. 
they finally arrived at their zoo and had a sharp time. <laughs> so these are very silly, but they're fun. Kids love them. It's very interactive. Uh, so that's another fun thing you can do. So anyways, if you go back to Flippity, there's a lot of things. They all work exactly the same way. The instructions tell you, you make a copy, you edit it, then you publish to the web and then copy the link. They all work the same way. So play with them, they're fun. And uh, yeah, so anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, please click like, and um, I really need some subscribers. So if you would subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.